Hey everyone, Janet here from Lucid Pen, and today I'm going to show you how to use my glitter brush. Uh, it's actually very, very simple. This will be a quick tutorial, and you'll be able to apply this to all the text you want. Um, so first thing we want to do is import uh, the glitter brush into Procreate. So we'll go ahead to our brushes, hit the plus sign, and select import. Now I have mine here in my Dropbox. Um, just go find yours wherever you saved it and just click on it and Procreate will do the rest for you. All you need to do is give your brush a name. Um, so we'll go ahead and call this glitter brush. Okay. And usually what I like to do is add the name of the shop or person where I got my brush from in case I have any questions or I have any issues with my brush. Uh, or if I just happen to like the brush a lot and I want to know where to get more, I have the name of that shop or person right there on my brushes. So we'll go ahead and name this Lucid Pen and hit done. And we're all set. This brush is ready to go. But first we're going to need some text. So we'll go ahead and add a layer here. I'm going to go ahead and select a different brush so we can add text. Black is good. Black is a nice base. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and write glitter. that'll work nicely. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate this layer because I want to save that first one and I'm going to turn that into a drop shadow once I'm done. So, but for now we'll go ahead and click on this one and what we're going to do is select alpha lock. Now what alpha lock does is that the only place that you wrote on this layer is going to be affected by the next brush that you add onto it. So the glitter brush is only going to affect this text and nothing else, which is great because then you don't have to worry about masking or anything like that. Um, so we'll go ahead and select our glitter brush. And what you want to do is select a darker, a dark shade of the color that you want. So if you want pink, we're going to select dark pink. That way, because the brush itself has highlights, if you select, for example, this light pink, um, you're barely going to be able to see the glitter effect because it's going to be very, very white. So we want to go with a darker color. Uh, and if you want play with the opacity, as you'll notice, this comes out light. Um, but if I lower the opacity a little bit, it's a little bit more pink. And if I go even lower, obviously it's going to be a darker shade. So you play around with it and, you know, use the level that you prefer. So we'll go ahead and just shade this. And you can always go back and touch up little areas that were just a little bit darker. And there we go. We're good. Now what I want to do is go back to this layer that I left here, my duplicate, and add a blur to it. Just to give it a nice effect. We'll go see about 12. That's good. And then we'll go ahead and just bump it out just a little bit. There we are. Now what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and get rid of this layer and I will remove my background. And let's go ahead and also resize this or crop it so that way we don't have to do it when we import it to GoodNotes. Um, so crop and resize. Okay, that's good. I'm all done. And I will go ahead and save it as a PNG to my camera roll. And then let's go ahead and open up Good Notes. And we'll add a picture. And there it is. And we'll just go ahead and resize that a little bit. Glitter. This would be great for all those like monthly headers and notes and motion, motivational stickers and just about anything that you want to add this effect to, it'll come out great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Please subscribe for notifications and to let me know if you like my tutorials. Um, for freebies and other digital planning goodies, head over to our Facebook group. The link is below. Until next time, bye.